Hey, what's up? It's David Duford here at davidduford.com where I help insurance agents like you become top producing insurance professionals. And in today's video, I'm speaking specifically to new or aspiring American Income Life agents or AIL agents who are interested in learning what they need to know to be successful selling life insurance. So I've got five topics here that I've specifically designed for AIL, American Income Life agents to really think about uh, as they get started or really before they get started with AIL to make sure that this opportunity is best for them and how they can maximize their results uh, selling insurance with AIL. Now, the first one here is being totally bought in. This is a fundamental truth of life. When it comes to our careers, we shouldn't sell something that we don't believe in. I think belief in your product and the company that you work with is the most important factor of determining whether or not you should have a long-term career with a company. In the beginning, you may not know a lot for sure, but you may get senses of something being a good deal for you and you should follow your instincts. But ultimately, over the course of your career, if you're not bought in to working for American Income Life, you shouldn't be doing this for the long term. There is a ton of different insurance operations out there that may be a better fit for you than AIL. On the other hand, AIL may be the perfect fit. The important point is to determine as quickly as possible if you believe in their model of doing business, if you're totally bought in on the career progression that you should go through working with them. And if you are, then completely commit. If you're not, then you should have some second thoughts and consider looking at other alternatives to make sure that you find yourself in a situation that gives you the best results overall. Number two is that you've got to understand in the insurance business, it's important to duplicate success. So the great thing about AIL's model is they teach agents how to be successful using their particular methods. The best thing you can do coming into AIL is if you believe in their system, you believe in their success is to duplicate whatever it is that they teach you down to a T. I would imagine that AIL managers would agree that they don't want you reinventing the wheel. They've already took care of that thinking process for you. And what AIL managers need more than anything are people who will actually follow through and do. So take the time to understand what is successful with AIL, find the top producers at AIL, study what their methods are, and, and ask, beg if possible, to do ride-alongs with them, to see their prospects, to see how they do things, because that's going to teach you a lot about how the business works, and then take and borrow from those people so that you can duplicate that same process on your own. Again, Success leaves clues, follow those clues, and don't feel like you've got to come in and second guess the system. It works if you work it. Number three, understand insurance is a numbers game, okay? If you've come from a, a normal background, being an employee, earning a wage, and you've never earned a commission, it's diff different to think about the fact that this business is totally dependent upon presentations. You can do a lot of busy work and activity, but none of that really matters if you're not seeing the people and presenting to the people that are out there. Because if you're not doing the hard work necessary to make that happen, you're not really in the business of selling insurance, okay? It's all about seeing the people and running a specific number of appointments a week. Again, AIL will tell you what their goal appointments are for you. You should strive to hit them and do whatever it takes possible to do that. And understand that what you earn in the, in the insurance business with AIL is exactly equivalent to the type of activity that you put in. The less you work, the less you make. Number four, I would highly re recommend doing a ride-along before getting committed to this career. Now, here's why. I think that, first of all, probably 90 to 95% of insurance agents that get into this business are going to fail out in their first year. Why is this the case? There's a lot of reasons. Maybe you've gotten the wrong agency. Maybe you're selling the wrong product. Maybe you don't have support. The list is endless. So you want to take precaution to make sure before you invest your time, money, career, and effort into something that it's a good fit. And in the insurance business, there's really nothing that beats seeing what this business is like firsthand dealing with clients, especially if you've never sold insurance before. This gives you the opportunity to figure out, okay, is this deal for me? Because if you do a ride-along with AIL and you find that the American Income Life model doesn't make sense for you, great. You can shake hands with the person who would potentially hire you 
and go on to the next thing. But you saved a ton of time, not just for yourself as an agent, but for management too. And uh, potentially uh, just wasting a lot of time. And a lot can be discovered by just sitting in on a ride along, seeing how your manager is, what the personality type is like, and if you feel like you could mesh well with them. Again, a lot of professional Fortune 500 operations put their agents, put their reps, put their salespeople on ride alongs so they can see what the business actually is like on a firsthand basis. Number five, uh, final uh, but important point is to make sure you get a second opinion. If you think about this career like you would if you got a diagnosis of cancer, it's probably a good idea to get a second opinion to make sure that the first opinion made sense. A lot of agents come into this business because they got through through referral. Some buddy of theirs told them about how much money they're making at a certain organization, and they just kind of follow along because they trust that person's judgment. Now, the thing is, is not to distrust it. As the old saying goes, trust but cut the cards. And by cutting the cards, you're making sure that there's no other alternatives out there that will provide you a better experience. So don't just necessarily settle on AIL or American Income Life as being the only option for you. Investigate other ones. If you use YouTube and put in insurance sales training, final expense training, annuity training, Medicare supplement training, you're going to see an endless supply of different training, endless supply of different agencies and opportunities that will help you figure out if AIL is the best for you or if there's something else that's a better alternative. So I hope you enjoyed this particular tra training video. Again, the whole concept of this is to help the new and aspiring AIL agents figure out if this particular setup is right for them because the worst thing that you could go through is spending an, an, an adequate, a lot of your time in a career that you just don't like or with an agency that just doesn't make sense for you. It wipes out more agents, I think, than, than necessary when there are options for an agency relationship that would be way better if you only knew of those options. So if you'd like to learn more about what I do, you can go to davidduford.com. If you're interested in my agency and to see how working together with me works, you can click the link at the top that says Join David's Agency, and there you'll find how you could sell things like final expense, mortgage protection, Medicare supplements, and annuities. If you have a question, please leave it below. Uh, feel free to uh, uh, comment. I'm happy to answer any comments you have. Like the video. Share it with anybody else you know who's getting into American Income Life or AIL. And uh, make sure you subscribe if you plan on being in the insurance business regardless and like training and want help with your sales and marketing. My name is David Duford at DavidDuford.com. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.